Hey guys, this is Jason with MuseGrid.com, and in this video, I'm going to continue on with our background video widget, but we're going to cover viewport fill as well as static background video, where your content floats over the top of your background video as you scroll down your page. So, uh, if you have not watched our background video installation video, um, you need to stop this video now and go back and watch that video first because we're going to pick up where that video left off to cover these two additional topics, viewport fill as well as static background video where content flows over the top. So again, go back and watch that video first if you have not done so yet because we're going to pick up where that one leaves off. So as you can see here, we have our background video widget installed, which is currently selected here on my canvas. So um, if I just do a quick command shift E to see what this looks like in a browser, you'll see that our background video looks great. The thing is though, is we want to fill the entire viewport. So everything that you see here right now on my screen is considered the viewport, the current viewport. And the current viewport, we want it to be filled with the background video, irregardless of our content. But as you can see here, it's cutting off right here at the bottom because we haven't indicated that that's what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go back into Adobe Muse and we're going to leave everything exactly the same. All we're going to do is going to go into our settings panel and simply click fill viewport. By enabling that option, we now have told this widget, no matter how big, no matter how tall this widget is here, uh, we want it to always fill the viewport on initial load. So if I just do the same thing in command shift E and view it in the browser, what you'll find is, is that it has now filled the entire viewport and pushed everything else down the page. So the video will now, of course, scroll with the content as you would expect it to do so. So all you have to do to cover to fill the viewport is simply select that option in the widget and it will all work automatically. Now, there's going to be some cases where what you also want to have happen is the content to flow over the top of the video. So this video background is truly living in the background at all times and it's static on your web page instead of flowing with your content. So all we need to do in order to make that happen is obviously we need to have this checked already, which we have, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, just simply pin this to the top. So we're gonna select it, we're gonna click transform and we're gonna click pin to browser top, just like that. So now in order to, uh, so, so now what will happen in order to test this out, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to drag a rectangle or something out to screen here. Oops, let's undo that. Uh, let's grab our rectangle tool, drag it out to screen, and we're just going to make this um, just something so that obviously it can, can scroll a bit and we know that it'll, that it'll go over the top. So we'll go to our transform here and we'll make the height of this like uh, 1200, something like that. All right. And we're going to give this a quick fill. Again, this is nothing too beautiful. It's just trying to illustrate the point. So we're going to give it a background color. Um, actually, let's do this. We're going to give it a gradient color here. So that way we can actually see it. Uh, we're going to go vertical gradient, just like that. And uh, we'll go something kind of like, uh, I don't know. I'm totally making stuff up here, right? Um, let's see here. Let's go something more like that. So what we're going to do is, so as it obviously goes down the page, um, it's obviously going to go, going to turn from blue to more of a black color. If we can get my machine to respond there. There you go. Something like that. So you, as you can see, okay. So what we're going to do, we're only going to focus on our 1200 for the moment, because obviously we would just need to make the same adjustments to our 1100 and so on. Um, if we're using different breakpoints, um, but I'm just going to stick to my 1200 right at the moment. And what we're going to do is quick command shift E. Oops. There we go. There it goes. Command Shift E, so we're exporting it, and we're going to take a quick look in the browser to see how this is going to end up working for us. And of course, as it will load up here momentarily, maybe we close a couple of these out. Maybe that's kind of dogging my machine a bit. There you go. Okay, so there's the content. And of course, now as I scroll, the video stays in the background, but the content's scrolling up the page. So all I had to do, so again, it's looking pretty good. Now, granted, this is just a quick hack job here, but as you can imagine, um, you know, there could be all kinds of ways that, uh, you know, you facilitate this kind of thing. Actually, let me maybe give you just one quick example. So if we take this uh, section here and we just kind of move it down here like this, uh, give or take, 
Uh, let's move it right there. And um, we're going to go resize this to uh, stretch the width of the browser. Uh, we're going to go to transform. We're going to reduce this back down to, say, like 500, give or take, something along those lines. Okay. And then I'm going to copy paste. All right. Another one. And we're going to just move this down like so. And I'm going to put that one there. Oops. Put that one there. And um, actually, of course, we're going to do, I'm going to just move this down a little further. So let's just kind of like keep moving this down the page. Just like so. And nope. See if my browser was, there we go. Okay. So now, so, so kind of here's what's going to happen. Let me change the height of this one to more like a uh, uh, 1200 again. There you go like that. So what's going to end up happening is as we scroll down the page, the background video is actually going to show through here in this particular section. So maybe you have another message here, something like that that you want to do. So watch this. So we're going to go Command Shift E. And because our background video is actually static in the background now, um, as we scroll down the page, you'll see that there, there it is, right? So it's looking good. So we're going to scroll down. Imagine that there's some sort of a message there. We keep scrolling and there it is again, just shining through again. Right, so maybe you have some text over the top right here as it's scrolling as well. And then again, you know, it's now going to go into the new section and that's kind of it. So guys, there's kind of just an example now how you have the background video static on your page. Um, you know, you can put content over the top of it and it has this nice play, play through effect, which is pretty cool. So in this video, we covered um, viewport fill, um, which will completely fill the whole viewport for you. Uh, on page load, then uh, we covered um, background video where it's static and you can have content flow over the top of it. So guys, there you go. This is background video. By the way, all of this works on mobile exactly like the background video did in the, install, in the initial installation video. Um, so this has the potential to create some pretty cool experiences um, on those mobile devices. So here you go, guys. You have background video with viewport fill as well as full screen static background.